Visco. Hi everyone, welcome back to Visco channel. In this video, I'm going to share how to do cloud attendance with High Connect team mode. High Connect has personal mode and team mode. With team mode, we can do cloud attendance. Cloud attendance allows the employer to monitor the attendance status from different networks and also allows the employee to do check-in and check-out not only on the access control device but also on the phone app without further ado i'm going to show you how to do this all right now i'm on my pc so you can go to any one of the web browser i'm using google chrome so i search for iphonet okay for first time user you may register your account here i have registered mine so i will log in here in the username and password okay for first time login the system will ask us to create a team so we can select it and here we can set our team name address is optional then if you want to set your time zone also can phone is also optional sim type i will simply select one office so at here we can activate the free services so we have video management access control and attendance video and com all this we can enable but keep in mind that for access control the free service is three months that means uh we can get three months of free trial with unlimited doors but after that the free device will be 10 devices and 100 person if more than that you will need to get license so okay agree then create okay so now my team mode is created okay before we start we will need to enable the head connect on our access control terminal first so I access to my terminal, key in password, go to system settings, communication, high connect, enable high connect, and here we can set the verification code. Okay, so now we can go to set up our high connect. First, we go to device. Under device, we select access control device, then select add, add device. And here we key in the serial number of the device. And here we key in the verification code that we set just now. And here we can set the device name. We can set the name that we want. And this is the username and password of the device. The rest is optional to set. Then add. Okay, the device is added. Make sure the network status is online. Next, we go to person. If you have added person data to your device, you can import the person data from device here select group select device you can select it to import all person or specific person and here we select the department if you want to import the picture as well you need to take here then import okay here it is not showing face but if we go inside here we can see actually the face is already here it will take some time for it to show up here so i'm going to show you how to add person on this uh high connect team okay i'm going to show you how to add person on high connect team so first we select add here we can set our id here we can set our face we can take a picture from the pc upload picture or from device but keep in mind that this is only for the enrollment station not from the access control device then at here under credential management, we can register card. So at here we select our device, save. Then at here we select add. Please swipe card. So at here I can swipe my card, and as you can see here, the card number will appear here. So we do not need to manually key in the card number. So same goes to the fingerprint. We select the device then save then click on the add press your finger okay now we can register our fingerprint press on your the device again. okay as you can see we can now the fingerprint is registered successfully then save okay at here we can set the effective period also so let's say today and then if i want to extend i can extend it here 
if we want to do mobile check in check out we want to make sure that the allow login to self service is checked and then we need to key in the high connect account for the staff so i'm going to key in here so here is done next we go to attendance and here we also need to check this check in check out via mobile client if you want to do mobile check in and check out and if you want the staff to upload picture when they check in or check out you can take here then add okay i need to key in a name here add okay so now a person is added now we can go to access control go to access level manage access level and here we can create a access level so we can name the access level so actually access level is the place where we set the device that is allowed in this area so in my case i only have one device so i'm going to set this device to my access level and you can set the access schedule here also by default there will be all day template but you can create more if you want then add. next we need to assign this access level to a person we can either assign by department or assign by person so personally i would prefer to assign by person so i select here and here we need to select a person and the access level so first i select person let's say this person add and then select the access level that we created just now save so for the access control part is done also keep in mind that once we assign the person to a access level the person data will be pushed to the access control device okay now we are going to attendance part and here we can set our timetable add a new timetable there will be normal shift and flexible shift for normal shift the start work time and end work time are fixed so by default it will be nine to six if we select edit here we can set the check-in time period and check-out time period so what is meant by this let's say the check-in time period by default is 8 50 to 9 10 if a staff check in at 8 30 8 30 is not within 8 50 to 9 10 so the check-in record will not be shown in the report so we do not want this to happen what we need to do is we try to set the check-in time period as long as possible same goes to the check-out time period okay this is just an example so next we also have flexible shift for flexible shift it doesn't have a fixed start work time and end work time it only has a minimum working hours by default it will be eight we can set to the working hour that we want also so this is the effective check-in check-out time period usually we will try to set it as long as possible as well to capture all the attendance record so in this uh, case i will use flexible shift so i add okay i need to put a name first for flexible then add okay now a timetable is created next we need to assign this timetable to person so we go to schedule under person here we can see a cross here a plus icon so click on it and then select the shift i have created a flexible shift so i will select flexible then a time here we can set also i would recommend to take this repeat so by default it will be repeating every week and repeat on monday to friday if let's say i'm working on sa saturday also so i take saturday as well and then at here we can set the effective period for this shift so usually we will want to set it as long as possible so that we do not need to keep updating the schedule so okay once we have done and save okay, as you can see the timetable is assigned to this person now okay just now i've assigned a person to access level and this device is under that access level by right now the person data should be here and i should be able to authenticate so let's try thank you okay fingerprint is working I'll try with thank you also working all right now i'm on my phone so first we go to high connect okay now we log into the employee's account and here we can key in the email address or the phone number then key in the password then log in okay and here the system will say a team invitation received so we just agree and join okay then start and here we can do check in and check out if we take the upload picture 
option just now then we must upload picture if we just click on the change out this error will appear so we take a photo now we just uh, simply take a photo okay then we go to check in or check out again okay now it is succeeded so this is how we do uh, check in and check out using high connect app and now we are going to look at the report part under report we have transaction and here we can see the transaction data let's say i select today filter we can see the check in and check out is on device or mobile app if we go to mobile transaction we can even see the picture taken by staff if there's any so for the report we have a few types here total time card work hours exception late report and so on if i look at work hours first step we need to calculate the data so let's say i want to see from the beginning of the month until today and here we can select the target person then we go recalculate or complete let's say i want to see today then i filter okay so it will show the report here and at here we can filter out the items that we want to display on our report if you want to export the report we can select export here there are a few formats for us to select we have excel pdf csv and text file so i'm going to show you the how the excel file will look like so this is the report all right this is the end of this video i hope this video is helpful to you and i'll see you in the next video visco